So now we're going to show you a couple of alternative techniques for keeping the relocated leg straight. So we've straightened Tom's leg and luckily I have a carry mat here which we can use to help to keep it straight. So Tom, if you'd like to just move your injured leg up if you can, keep it out of the way. So with this injured leg I'm going to keep it nice and stable and very, very gently we're going to slide this carry mat underneath the casualties injured leg. So I'm not really moving anything, but just sliding that up under the casualties leg. So I'm just going to move up. Okay, we're just sliding that up. Here we go. So I'm going to make sure that I've still got the foot inside the roll mat and keep everything stable. And then I'm just going to roll up the end of the roll mat as tightly as I can, nice and firmly, and I'm going to put that right up towards the casualties leg. And I'm going to keep that in place just with my knee. So we're just going to hold that in place with my knee. So I'm not going to let go of his foot because clearly his legs will fall out. And then we're just going to do the same to the side, roll it up nice and firmly, as tight as we can. Bring that right up to the casualty's leg. And again, I can use my knees to keep that nice and secure and that stops the leg from moving. I've got a couple of bandages. So again, I can roll these triangular bandages up into narrow bandages. I can slide this very, very gently underneath the casualty's leg. And I'm going to bring this over the top. I'm going to tie it. And to get lots of friction, I'm going to do a second roll of the bandage. And now I really can tighten this up really, really firmly. And that's going to keep everything nice and stable. I've got another one here. Do the same thing, but higher up, nearer to the knee. Let's slide it underneath very gently. Doing a great job, casualty. And again, we're going to tie it, double bow, and then we're just going to really give that some pressure and really tighten this up. How's that feeling, casualty? A lot better, thank you. Surprisingly comfortable. So now this is here, I can slowly move away, and that should be nice and firm and shouldn't move at all. So we've stabilised that lower leg injury. And for our next demonstration of how we could stabilize this leg, Tom's leg, we have got a, a SAM splint. So this is something some people might have come across before. So these are very, very light to carry. It's a very thin aluminium with a little foam packing around it and is, is very flexible, slips in the back of rucksacks. But this SAM splint, once it, once it is bent into a U shape, becomes very, very strong and very stable. So here's one that we have made as a leg splint earlier today, which we're going to use to show how we can stabilize Tom's lower leg injury. So I will have relocated Tom's leg, so we've got it nice and straight. So well done, Tom, that was very brave. I'm pleased we've got you here. That feels much better, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now, Tom, is very, very gently, I'm going to take my Sam splint and very, very gently, we're going to slide this just underneath your leg. But very, very gently, we're going to slide this underneath as best we can. And what we're going to do now is we're going to tie his foot and leg to this Sam splint to keep it stable. So I have got some bandages here, so I'm gonna start on rolling these. Tom, if you could uh, help me, that would be great. So I'm just gonna hold this bandage here. I'm gonna start wrapping it around your foot. I'm gonna to start to make it nice and firm and nice and tight to make sure nothing's, oops, nothing's going to move. So I'm just gonna wrap this around and try and keep the bandage as broad as we can as we're doing this. And we're just gonna keep it nice and tight. So Tom, what I'd like you to do once I've got this one on, we're going to get another one. Do you think you could help me unroll these bandages around your leg? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep going with this. If I had some duct tape, gaffer tape, then I would use that. It'd be quicker and easier. But we are going to take this off in a minute and leave Tom with some hairs on his leg. So we'll just use these bandages for now. And again, we'll start. I'm going to slowly start working up Tom's leg and getting these bandages nice and firmly in place. So it's taken a few minutes, but we've managed to strap Tom's leg up against the Sam splint so it can't move. And we could use lots of different things for this bandaging, but how does it feel, Tom? Does it feel stable? Yep, yeah, feels really solid, comfortable. Great. And we've left his toes exposed so we can just check for colour at the end of his toes to make sure his circulation is still good. And I guess in the real world, in the outdoors, we want to cover this up now to keep him warm while waiting for help to arrive. So we've shown you a few different techniques now for stabilizing a potential lower leg injury. So in summary, if we have to stabilize one of these lower leg injuries, we need to move quickly. 
We've shown you a few techniques you can use, but actually you can improvise with lots of different things in the outdoors. The wheel of the mountain bike is just fallen off, kayak paddles, canoe paddles, we could use the, the rifle he's carrying, we could use walking poles, ski poles, so we can improvise with all sorts of things to try and splint this lower leg injury. But whatever you use, you need to make sure that once it has been applied, it has stabilised the injury, he can't move his foot and the leg can't move. Immobilisation is the key to this technique.